Translational medicine is taking things from just being sort of academic basic science, sometimes that really leads to great things, but trying to say, we want this science to affect people's lives now, not a hundred years from now. When a patient of mine has an issue, they ha are having that issue right now. And so, you know, it is a little bit frustrating to wait, you know, for progress to, to take place. You have a patient who's sick and desperately wants to get well. And you have a physician who's using the latest, greatest medicine they know to try to make them well. But there's something else in an academic center like this, a research center, and that is a scientist who's asking the question, why? Why does that happen? And if we can understand why, we can change the way we treat and change the outcome for the patient. When your child has any one of those things, it's like the worst thing in the world. Our family is afflicted with diabetes, with type 1 diabetes. And so from our perspective, you know, the CTRI, it's going to be working on curing diseases for all kinds of things. And so if it plays a significant factor in curing diabetes, that's, that's wonderful. If it cures any, any diseases, it helps to cure any diseases that afflict, you know, kids or, or family members, we know just how, because we feel it every day, we know how important that'll be in people's lives. The survival rate for myelofibrosis, um, the average survival was five years, five to eight years. So I was getting to the tail end of, you know, of the average survival. And it wasn't until I met Dr. Jameson that um, I really, you know, had, was presented with hope again. The CTRI is going to allow us to translate these discoveries far more rapidly and efficiently to the clinic. So we've managed to do it a couple of times, but we could template this and do it 50 times. You know, it would just completely accelerate our capacity to do this. If one wants to have an impact on healthcare, uh, health sciences, taking basic science and applying it to, to human health, there is really no better place to do that than at UC San Diego. And there's really no better place at UC San Diego to do that than with the Altman CTRI building, because that is where all of these connections are being made. It's the lens that is focusing all of this energy on our patients uh, at the medical center. UCSD is uniquely situated to have um, an outstanding medical school, an outstanding engineering school, business school, computer science, cyber infrastructure, as well as amazing colleagues throughout the Mesa, all of whom are devoted to advancing healthcare. There are actually more members of the National Academy of Science within walking distance of this office than anywhere else in the world. UCSD is very collaborative and the advantage for the SALK, we're very small and we value being small, but we need access to a lot of things that you can only have if you're large. You know, a pathology department where the pathologist is working in Lou Gehrig's disease or an ophthalmology department working in macular degeneration. Everybody's collaborating across departments, across divisions, across units uh, without any barriers. And that allows us to address problems uh, that most universities cannot address because they have silos, they have departments uh, that don't talk to each other. So with the Altman Clinical Translational Research Institute, we have an amazing opportunity to put uh, doctors next to scientists, next to technologists, and really define and create the next generation of cures. And so the building includes clinical research space for performing clinical trials. It contains wet lab space for basic uh, bench biologists working uh, in the laboratory. It includes dry research space for individuals that are clinical trialists or bioinformatics uh, uh, researchers, as well as engineers who are intimately involved with translational medicine by working on devices and other interesting technologies. And it's designed in a way so that people cannot avoid bumping into each other. It's a billion dollar research campus, 650 million dollars a year worth of medical research. You know, there's all kinds of interesting things coming out of it and CDRI is the mechanism by which you can capture it and uh, take it to the patient population. 
So basically to combine resources without having to reinvent the wheel all the time. And that's what the CTRI brings to the table, but philanthropy is absolutely vital. And there are some very well-informed philanthropists here that have managed to make a tremendous difference. I've been on the drug for a year, and um, the scarring in my bone marrow, which is the, the main problem with my disease, it's reducing. So um, the first time in eight years, I have real hope, like I have a chance, and none of that would be possible without working with Dr. Jameson and without um, this collaboration that we have together. And if there's, you know, anything that's more exciting than being given that hope myself, um, it's that someone else won't be confronted with um, having no hope like I was when I first was diagnosed.